Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, it's been about three weeks since I've done a, a video for you. So this video, it's just updating you on my Bell's Palsy um, condition, how I'm doing um, since the last time I um, did a video. It was the Vegas vlog number two and Bell's Palsy journey. And at that video, I was about uh, eight or nine days um, into my Bell's Palsy, um, you know, condition. I got it on April 21st, and so it's been about a month, and so far, you know, thank goodness, thank God, um, like the first couple weeks, I started feeling, you know, the, the like, the nerves coming back. You could feel the, the tingling here in the cheeks. That's where I felt it first, and, um, you know, since then, it's been continuous, like, on the where you could start to feel you know the nerves coming back and I didn't do any other treatment except um, you know the steroids that the doctor prescribed and the um, what is it the steroids and the antiviral the 10-day treatment so that was the only thing I did and I rested a lot I I slept a lot I try to reduce stress as much as possible which you know when you have kids and you're moving it's sometimes impossible to avoid stress but do the best you can when you have kids and other things in your life that are stressful especially moving but yeah so far um, this is the second time I wore makeup since I've had bells and my eye feels okay it's a little bit kind of like watery but it feels okay you know um, I still can't really blink this one just a little bit but I can smile more um, more evenly and I can move my eyebrows can you guys see the eyebrows and um, so yeah see I can smile it's more even and I'm definitely feeling a lot more and there is less uh, tenderness and soreness here in my temples and on this side of my my head and I didn't get any pain back here in the ear or in the jaw area like some people do. So um, basically, I'm doing okay so far, and I'm just doing the best I can day by day and staying positive. So this video is also what I promised um, is an apartment tour because we moved about two weeks ago. So I'm going to do a quick apartment tour for you guys, and I hope you like it. And if you want to keep on watching, just stay tuned and we, I will cover our little apartment for you. Okay, and then also I just want to, you know, remind you guys that are watching um, this video, whether you're a subscriber or not, um, and, and you're watching my, my videos for the first time, welcome to my channel. And if you like, you know, my channel and you like the contents, please subscribe and like this video. Um, also, if you're, you know, you just got Bell's palsy, I just encourage you to surround yourself um, with as much like positive people and peace and um, whatever you can do to like eliminate things that can trigger you, you know, just heal yourself and, and take care of yourself and then you can go and, you know, get more involved in your regular activities later on. But the number one thing is to take care of yourself. It's so important, you know, to heal your mind, body, um, you know, your spirit, everything. So just really, um, sometimes it's not to be selfish, but go ahead and take care of yourself if you're going through this or any other health issues. Make sure that you really take care of yourself, especially if you have children. So get yourself right, that way you can be here to take care of your family and be around for other family and friends in the future. But yeah, so um, just keep on going and here we go with our, our quick apartment tour. Hopefully this is our last apartment um, before we do get into a house again. It's been 10 years you guys since we've had a, um, a house we sold our home 10 years ago exactly in in uh, July of 2007 and that's um, when we moved in with my mom who got sick and we took care of her and our life kind of has been like a roller coaster since then but we just keep waiting for God's perfect timing for us to get to our next step it's really been um, challenging but at the same time we've grown so much from our last 10-year journey 
Um, and you know, my husband and I are, are pretty humble and we don't have, you know, that mentality where we have to have a certain standard or status. We just kind of are just living life and appreciating everything as things come our way. And whatever challenges we do have, we just, you know, keep going and, and doing the best we can to tackle it and overcome it. And, um, you know, we just kind of um, do our best with what, whatever situation we're put in. And when we always think, you know, when things are right, when things come together, then let it be, you know, as long as you're like doing the best you can in life, um, just keep going, you know, whether you're in the, in the place you want to be or not at that specific time, if you're doing the best you can, then be proud of what you, uh, you are accomplishing. You don't have to have everything to feel like you've made it in the world, you know, just be happy, bloom where you are. So make the best of, of what you have, where you are and be happy and make the most of it. That's our mentality. And um, nothing is perfect in life. Nobody's perfect. We all make mistakes. And I just want to reiterate that because it's so important for you to know that you are successful. You are great as long as you are giving everything. You're doing your best in your situation. Um, not everything is always like has to be wonderful and great for people to see outside looking in for you to be considered great. If you yourself are doing your best in your current situation, that is all you need to know. That is the only validation that you need. Okay, with all that being said, because I love to inspire and uplift people instead of criticizing them, um, unless it's constructive criticism, then that's all right, you know, because that means you're trying to help them and improve them. Um, but yeah, let's go on and get going with this nice house apartment tour. Okay, everyone, so we are going to start here in the front door. Um, this painting here um, is a collecting or collectible uh, poster because my mother-in-law used to work at the Stardust Hotel here in Las Vegas, and they were open from 1958 to 2006. So this was a gift from her and the frame also. So we hung it right here. It's a wonderful uh, Las Vegas memorabilia so we kept it right there and one of these days we are going to put it in a maybe a different frame but this one is beautiful i love that stardust poster okay so over here you guys know i love thrift stores but this um wooden crate or like wooden um uh, like a decorating or decorative type thing right here there's two of them i got that at the goodwill and they are in excellent shape. Whoever owned it, they're like practically brand new. So there's two of them. And then the little uh, like seashell type, uh, you know, thing there that I bought. I bought that at Ross. It was a really good deal under 10 bucks. So I don't know. I just like to find little cute things at the thrift store. But yeah, so this is our TV stand here. And now this lamp here you guys is awesome my mother-in-law got me this she got that at the thrift store also it's like a filipino um material this right here is called capis c-a-p-i-s so this is the most beautiful unique thing and i'm so happy she gave that to me as a gift and then we did end up selling our other couch from our other apartment and we put that sale towards the purchase of this sectional and i I normally have like a little beige cover on this just on the seat part to protect it um, but I'm washing that right now and that's Maddie our dog she gets a bath um, pretty frequent that way it, you know the house stays clean and that's our little ottoman and that's her bed right there and she has like two different uh, blankets and towels that we alternate on her little cute bed and keep that really clean she's doing her little stretch right there so over here, my husband did uh, this. He, I asked him to put up some of the kids' pictures that were in frames in a box, and he did a really great job. So he put those frames up there, and over here, just some um, my mom's Japanese dolls. She had more, but it's a long story. I only have two now, 
my mother-in-law gave that to my kids. It's two sisters that are angels, and then my mom's angels here from her choreo. And then my little Betty Boop collection and my poem back there. I plan to publish my poems one day. I keep praying to God. That is my first poem I wrote right there. Why must you be called Why must you be called stranger by Elizabeth A. Nazario? And that's a little San Francisco uh, music box back there that from my aunt. Some health books down there. And a little shoe rack because we don't have any other place to put the shoes. And there's also one in the closet. This cute little uh, multi-purpose ottoman is so perfect because there's the shoes. You can sit down here, put on your shoes at the same time. It's an ottoman you can sit on. And we keep Maddie's stuff in here. So here is like for their poop. They have, there's garbage outside where you could put their poop. So we always take a little poop bag with us when we take her out. Her, uh, you know, all her leashes and and uh, her collar and uh, harness. And then we have her wipies because we wipe her down when, we, when she comes inside. To keep the house clean, we clean her up real quick. So that's little, a little multi-purpose ottoman. Over here is the hallway. Okay, also there's some leftover flowers from Mother's Day. It looks like it's um, on its last couple of days. But yeah, so lately my kids are into slime making. I don't know, they got some glitter, different glues with glitter on them. And they are taking over my mason jars. I told them you better not use all my mason jars but yeah so they are definitely into making glitter slime and it's they have so much fun with that and they're using up my food colorings more Betty Boop stuff candles and these are cute little things that you melt in the scents uh, thing here the warmer so you can have different scents but okay so moving on to the kitchen again over here, this is from the other apartment tour. You guys know my daughter keeps some of her baking things in here because she loves to bake. So all her excess baking things are in there. Um, coffee maker over here. Just cups and uh, glasses. Over here is like, you know, some sugar and hot sauces, salts and different kinds of spices our fridge, different cake holders because we love to bake and cook things. Um, currently what's in our freezer because I know some of you love to see, you know, like I love to see what's in people's refrigerators. I don't know why, but some people do. So for those of you that enjoy to see what's in people's pantries and refrigerators like I do, here it is. So we got some waffles and tater tots, um, some chili seeds or leaves from my best friend. Um, so some Filipino ice cream, we have mango and ube makapono. Um, yeah, so some different fishes and, and, you know, healthy chicken or healthy, healthier things. Um, veggies, egg roll wrappers. Okay, and then in the fridge, what is in here? So looks like yogurt, salad, almond milk, and our favorite thing for breakfast and smoothies, blueberries. They were on sale, you guys, three for five bucks. So that was awesome. So just typical stuff, veggies. We still have some, some orzo salad that I made the other day. That's really good. I'll have to do a video on orzo salad one day. Some Zango vitamin liquid, which is really healthy and yummy and some squash that I love to cook, or calabasa they call it. Yeah, so just some condiments right there. Cute little laundry facility or room. Not really a room, but laundry area. So I just kinda, I was washing some slippers, but I put it there, I don't know where the other one is, but there's the washer, the dryer, the water heater, some soap and supplies, Swiffer, Swiffer dusters, um, the fabric softeners, and 
So yeah, so that's our little laundry area. And then, okay, over here, this apartment is so awesome, you guys. It has two pantries. So we have this pantry here and this pantry here. So we're gonna go for this one first. Let me turn on the light. So I think it's pretty awesome. Now this pantry, we keep like cereal boxes up there and oatmeal and stuff over here and, and healthy crackers. And we're trying to like buy healthier snacks, but we have like healthy chips over here, like veggie chips and healthy popcorn. Like this one is really awesome. This is one of our favorites, you guys. Try it out at Sprouts Organic Popcorn with Himalayan Pink Salt and Coconut Oil. That's really yummy. Um, yeah, so there's some medicines here, but we keep like our baking items here, like peanut butter and like um, Nutella and stuff there. And then we also have clips, keep the bugs and stuff out of, you know, the food, some chia seeds um some sugars and rice flours and other stuff there some sugars here in those containers flours other things our toaster and other appliances the mixers ice cream maker mason jars so yeah so that's pantry number one pantry number two so this is so awesome i can't believe this apartment has two pantries so up here we keep like all the hot teas and the coffees, hot chocolates. Um, over here I have, I kind of segregated. I have like regular spices here or packets. Like this is the shawarma seasoning. So everything else over here, like taco seasoning and all that. Over here is like the Asian Filipino packets, like the Sinigang mixes. Um, but yeah, and then I have all the like panko and um, you know, breadcrumbs, tempura mixes, uh, seaweeds, pho mixes, palm sugar. When I do my pad thai, the um, palm sugar that you melt with the tamarind paste, and then rice, hot soups, and noodles, and beans. Down here, different condiments and other canned foods, some water, some more canned foods down there, and rice. So, pantry number two. And then here we just have the kitchen counter, our rice cooker. Usually I take out the vegetable that I'm gonna be cooking that day. Today we're gonna do some cauliflower because my youngest daughter loves cauliflower. These are some purple yams and um, one potato left right there. So if I plan on doing something for the week, I, I buy and I buy it and put it out here. That means I'm planning to do something with it. And you guys, you know how I love dollar stores and 99 cent only stores. Look at this dish rack or microfiber. So when you have overflow from your dish rack, you can just lay this out and just uh, put your excess dishes on here. Okay, so that's just like paper place and a little snack uh, bowl for the kids. Um, our sink area. It's really helpful for you guys to have one of these so you don't break a glass or anything when you're washing it and if it slips. And I love this like little half island area here. We didn't have this before at the other apartment. Um, the height is perfect. It's like a flush height. It's not the higher bar counter height, so it's perfect for like cooking, prepping, you know rolling out dough whatever it is and over here we have some pots we bought at walmart the other day my uh daughter bought this at her school they were selling salsa seeds so we're gonna plant that in here they're gonna plant some flowers in here um and put it out in the patio and those were so cheap um like 77 cents i think and the little flowers to plant was like 20 cents a packet um a couple bar stools and then over here is our five uh, seat dinette. And this one is the counter height. This one it's this one's the flush height. And then our dining table is a counter height. So it's a little bit higher than the normal um, dinettes. And you know we're Filipino because we have like the plastic uh, fabric protector. Okay. 
okay and just cutting boards pots and pans bakeware right here all the different bakewares bread loaves uh cake pans cheesecake uh things everything in there neutral bullet stuff okay so yeah and dishes are right up here dishwasher garbage so another great thing you guys about this apartment it has like a little desk area office area so over here on the bottom of the um let me go ahead and turn the light light on so there's like a, a shelf there where we keep like different you know papers and library books that i checked out some library books there so i put it up there um just different things paper shredder our laptop and what my husband and i did this time around is we did we bought like a little thing for we call it our valet so when you come home you just throw your keys in there whatever you got that you're going to file away later or whatever just throw it in here and then like a mail thing there for folders and staplers and stuff like that and a little chair we're going to get a more comfortable chair later on but look, a little area for our doggy, uh, all her food. And we keep her food, food right here also in this container that closes. So that way there's no bugs or anything that can get into that. And then I did not know where to put like our laundry hanging thing here, our garment thing. So I put it right here in the corner. And this is the stuff that cannot go in the dryer. So we just put it here and hang dry it so it doesn't shrink. So moving on, this is the girls' bathroom and also the bathroom for visitors if they we have visitors that need to use the restroom. Over here we have the linen closet from blankets to pillowcases to toilet paper down there, towels, and yeah, so there's the girls' brushes, medicine cabinet, um, so that's their little area, guest towels there, their little shower area. That's Maddie's SpongeBob towel. So that is their restroom area. And we've had this um, piece mat forever. Marcel loves to do, and Rachel loves to do like uh, flips and cartwheels on that. So this is the girls' room. This is Marcel's closet right here on this side. And then over here is Rachel's closet. Also over here we have their little cute bookshelf with a little TV and all their current books and folders. We discarded a lot already. So this is like the remainder of the consolidation we did. So everything is neat and organized now. Even their closets, everything is very consolidated. We like totally discarded so many things and donated. So that is what's left. We have like an air bed here and one in my room in case we have visitors. My aunt comes over sometimes and we just put a fitted sheet on there and she sleeps on the air bed. Um, so this is Rachel's bed here. Her, she picked out her own bedding this time around. She picked Paris. And this cute little um, blanket here that has her name, um, her tita Rosel got her this, and Marcel has one too, a pink one. But that is one of her favorite throw blankets. And of course, she's Mrs. Emoji. She loves emojis. And they always have their books and everything here ready to read before they go to bed. And Marcel picked out an owl theme this time around. So, and then there's their, they, this is their little side table that has like, um, you know, other supplies, crayons, and other things like that. And a lamp. That is my mom's doll since the 1980s, and her name is Angie. This is Joy. And some more. Um, we condensed like all their toys into these two bins little toys so that is it we're not going to have more because we do not like clutter and this is an art project that rachel did but it's falling apart it's uh cooking for love it's a chef because she wants to be a chef 
also one day but that was a school project she did like a couple years ago their little keyboard and this cool uh, picture here we had done at Circus Circus like about five six years ago so that was really awesome so we hung that up and this little uh, like homemade side table is where we keep like their miscellaneous things like a charging station basically so moving on to our room this is my little uh, cute little bedroom over here on the right is my little makeup table you guys see me um, you know do a video on what's in my makeup table and it's it's growing with more products I try to discard a lot of stuff I don't really use or I um, give it to people that might want it but yeah I condensed it and there's some of my ipsy bags right there our little TV and Bible um, we always have a Bible open I don't know we just heard it's from our aunt that it's a good thing to do so we always have an open Bible in our room somewhere and a little picture of Jesus and then we have our chase. We tried to sell this a couple times or to a couple people. It didn't work out. So we're going to end up keeping it. And it's really comfortable. We put it here in the corner. And it's kind of perfect. I sit there and I read my books. I love to read. So that's my reading area right there. There's another um, air bed for visitors. So if we have visitors, we just put air beds out wherever we find room. And then out there is our patio. We have our table out there and chairs. And I, you know, we'll be keeping that clean all the time, especially like when we have visitors so they can hang out out there. And our little bed here. No bedroom set. We're just gonna do all that if we, you know, move into a house down the road. And here's our little, our little bathroom. So our theme is gray and white for this one. My kids theme was gray, white, and peach. For us, it's gray and white. So there's a shower curtain, the uh, memory foam bath mat, which is so soft. Okay, and this one here, we love anything to do with lavender because it's so relaxing. Epsom salt lavender, bath lavender, bubble bath, air freshener, my husband's side of the sink. He, that's his products there. He loves Cetaphil. And our toothbrushes and stuff. My side. Um, I recommend this, you guys. I don't know. I know everybody does Listerine. But if you don't like the, the strength and the, um, you know, this is really mild. I really like the Reach and uh, 6 in 1. It's like a, like, tolerable it's not so like you know burning when you gargle but this one's really nice if you're looking for a new mouthwash this this one i suggest and then i finally found a nice facial wash that agrees with me that doesn't bother my eyes for some reason this avino positively uh radiant is really good and this one here the daily moisturizer with the spf 30 and with my Bell's Palsy, I noticed this one does not irritate my eyes at all. So you, if you guys are looking for a new face facial wash and moisturizer, try that one out. For me, it agrees with me. It doesn't bother my Bell's Palsy at all. And I love this uh, shower, you guys. It's so giant. It's kind of like our old... Um, our old one of our past apartments where it has the giant tub the giant garden tub and if you're Filipino you know what that is Tabo, okay guys Tabo. it's like awesome it's kind of the cheaper version of a bidet the French Italian uh, what the French and Italian use the bidet but Filipinos are all about the Tabo. okay you know what I'm talking about guys Okay, you guys, so that concludes our uh, little apartment tour. I hope you guys um, like, like our new apartment, our new place. And like I said, be happy wherever you are in life. Be happy wherever you live. Be thankful for everything you have no matter what. If it's not, um, you know, 
good enough for other people, that's fine. Be happy. If it makes you happy, that's all that matters. Just be thankful for every little thing you have. Um, that way, maybe you'll receive more blessings in the future if that is, uh, you know, his will, right? Okay, so um, I also hope that for those of you that are watching this, um, that are looking, you know, to seek support and awareness for Bell's Palsy, I hope you found it helpful also. Make sure you watch my other, uh, my first video that I did three weeks ago regarding my initial, um, you know, um, my initial like video regarding my Bell's Palsy. So go ahead and watch that if you haven't watched it yet. And I hope you find this and that other video helpful and um, just be strong, be happy and, and just go day by day. That's all you can do in life actually, just go day by day. Okay, so give this video a big thumbs up and thank you so much again. And please like and subscribe. Thank you so much. Take care everyone. I will see you again soon. Okay, bye-bye.